Hi, and welcome to Duke Business Network Market Recap. I'm Natasha. And I'm Catherine. And here are this week's top stories. Last Friday, the economy got a bit of good news with a jobs report that beat expectations. The Labor Department said that 204,000 jobs were added and the unemployment rate climbed to 7.3%. This beat predictions by about 100,000 and led to stock market rally on Friday. This report, combined with the recent optimistic GDP numbers, could mean the economy is finally ready for a breakout year. LGBT advocates also saw good news this week when the Senate passed the Employment Non-Discrimination Act, commonly referred to as ENDA. This bill has been considered a landmark piece of civil rights legislation. The bill, which passed with bipartisan support, would make it illegal to discriminate against LGBT in the workplace. However, there is still doubt whether the House will vote on the measure so it can be signed into law. Also this week, Bank of America and Freddie Mac began settlement talks over $1.4 billion in faulty loans. Freddie Mac wants the bank to buy back mortgages it made that helped lead to the recession. This would be another deal in a slew of agreements that Freddie has reached with banks over the past few months. The settlement should be finished by year end. Lastly, on Wednesday, American Airlines and U.S. Airways agreed with regulators on a $17.2 billion merger. The deal, which required a judge's approval, was originally blocked by the government. Regulators were concerned that it would harm customers and reduce competition. Once the deal is finalized, the merger will create the world's largest airline. Check back next week for more Duke Business Network Market Recap. See you next week.